Jacob's the one that actually got me into Valkyrie Profile. Nice. I was like a huge Valkyrie oh. Profile junkie for a while. <laughs> I was like, Jacob, Jacob. He's like, I already know. I know. Stop it. I know it. <laughs> Did you know about this? Yes. Yes. I, you know how many times I played that game? Shut up. Plenty of Just play it. You like it. <laughs> Look at you, hacker. A p- p- pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you r- run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? This podcast and the month of October is dedicated to the memory of Brian and his son, Raphael. Hey everyone, thanks again for listening to the Bits and Pieces podcast with Jacob and Ben. Uh, Thanks for listening. It's a podcast that talks about everything and anything that's pop culture. This week it just happens to be video games. So if you tuned in with us last week, last week was a lot about kind of just random talk, retail. But this week it's uh, more into the games. We talk more about what Jacob's been playing and some of the things on the horizon for pre-orders this year that games they are interested in and they may be picking up thanks again for listening and commenting liking subscribing uh, and sharing it on social media Uh, if you enjoy it hey please thanks for for listening and and giving us a a thumbs up on those so uh, we appreciate all your support So you've been playing Dark Souls, Jacob? I, I saw you, you know, yeah, you, you, you invited me. me to watch a stream for a while, and I yeah. was like, this guy's going to rage. Or just, <laughs> I should have had a rage timer. I didn't rage. No, he didn't, I, but you're hmm. prone to it. When? When? Like, when we were playing Soul Calibur together, Oh yeah. and I kept beating you, and then you, was the connection. you logged on. Everybody be cool. You be cool. We weren't even, like, dating at that time. It was lagging. Yeah. Oh no, it was seriously like. Oh, oh, I'm sure it was. Oh. One move, you just kept swinging your sword at my feet. Yeah, well, can't you just wouldn't do anything if someone does the same move? You do something different. <laughs> move to the side. It's a 3D fighter. Ash, good work, by the way. I just want to say this. Good work. Oh, yeah. It's nice to see that you cross the I's and dot the T's here. That's a, a, it's a cool essay. Dark Souls, it's um, it's hard. It's I could. There's still a little bit of Bloodborne in there. Mm-hmm. Easier to move. Yeah, but but you've never played the first two, right? I played Demon Souls a little yeah, bit, a little bit, and then I played a little bit of Dark Souls. But, but you didn't play. You didn't play them for that long. You no. just kind of tried it, and that was it. Yeah. So I tried playing Dark Souls. You did? Yeah. Three? The no, or, the, or the the first one. The first one, Demon Souls. No, not well. The second one then. Oh, Dark, Dark Souls, Souls two, yeah. No, no, Dark Souls, not Demon Souls. Dark Isn't it Dark Souls, Souls two? It goes, it goes Demon, Demon Souls, Souls Dark, Dark Souls, yeah. Dark Souls two, then three. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, see, I missed one. <laughs> <laughs> You're freaking me out. Yeah, no. Okay, so there, I didn't realize there was four. So I'm, I see. I always forget about uh, Demon Souls. That's mm. why I always consider that. Oh, that's one, and they just changed it later. Yeah. But no, okay. So I played Dark Souls and I tried, I tried really hard to yeah. like it, but I was like, "Is it on? That's on PS4? Um, or is that like a? It down- was on PS3. Okay, so it's like a downloadable from PS4. We had, we had no, actually, um, or you actually had, we had actually they, had a copy. Yeah, they at one re-released point. Dark Souls two on PS4. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but like, uh, I don't know. Like, I just kept doing the same thing. Like over and over again, like I was trying to like get my level up or something, yeah, like, yeah. gather souls, and I was like, ah, I'm just not, just didn't like that feel of the grind, like, oh. like it was, it was getting too grindy too fast, and mm-hmm. like I'm kind of the person who doesn't avoid like monsters, like I want to kill everything. Oh, okay, yeah. I want to murder everything in sight. Yeah. Like, but like you can't do that exactly with that game because 
you just die. unless you're farming, right? Yeah. Unless you're grinding for souls. And I think that's what I was kind of doing, and like, but I don't know. Like, mm. I just, I just couldn't get into it that much. Like, yeah, yeah, it was just, it's just not my type of game. But I appreciate it. Yeah, but I've yeah. played. I, I have Demon Souls, and then I think someone got me Dark Souls, but I never played it. Mm. but i played the first one and i was like oh this is kind of interesting but i just i don't know something else came out and then i was like i'll see you because <laughs> it wasn't i just really wasn't uh, that interested in it and i was mm. like that's oh, a cool concept and that's great for people who like it but and <clears throat> probably it would just frustrate me to no end like I, watching you play just kind of frustrated me i was like god damn yeah and it's like because i feel like so you die and then you're going back and everything respawned and then it's like, but you're limited on like that, that one tentacle looking thing that came out that was chasing you. And then you had like, you, you were throwing like fire bombs at it or something. Yeah. Or whatever those were, but you're limited on how many of those you can have, right? You can't, you, do you buy them or find you them? You can or? buy them, but they, the price goes higher. Oh, okay. It's really, sort of like Devil May Cry. Yeah. And then, um, like, and then you get to refill your Estus flask at a bonfire. Yeah. But once you go to the bonfire, everything respawns. Yeah. So it's like a checkpoint, but everything comes back, and you have to go through it again. Well, and then that's kind of, they probably did that because of the grindiness of the game, because they want you to keep farming for souls, and, because that, is that how you level in the game? Like Yeah, you, you get, you, everything you kill gives you souls, even the bosses. Yeah. But they have, like, special souls they, that you could use it for yourself, or you could use it towards, like, a quest or something like that. Oh, okay. So, and then, um. And then you also use that to buy stuff, too? Yeah. Okay. So everything is all based on souls you collect then. Yeah. So It's harder for there. It's harder for, you know, in Dark Souls because they all give you the same amount every yeah. time, you know. Whereas in Bloodborne, you could sort of, like, they have these runes you could equip. Right. Which give you more depending on what you do. Like, say, if you do, like, a parry, you get more souls from that. You get more echoes from that. Oh, okay. Or if you kill someone, you just get someone, you know, you get more echoes in general. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, so you get to, you get, like, like a thousand from a guy. Right. So it's easier. Yeah. But, like, yeah, so, like, I had five, you know, five million echoes mm-hmm. at one point. But then I died to dogs and I lost it. You lost it all. Yeah, so I had to come back from that. Yeah. But this one's just harder and takes longer for dark souls 3 it takes you hard it's harder and longer for you to level up yeah so and then there's people in there to do speed runs where they just use your hands and they don't even level up oh like huh. that, you know yeah or like on on you know on youtube for bloodborne they have one just level one no items just totally naked yeah using their fists and they bet you know they beat the boss and stuff like that so huh. it's just like that's cool. I mean, it's kind of like a challenge for them, right? Yeah. It's yeah. essentially, it's like a self-achievement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not an achievement in the game. It's just, I would just want to do it yeah. for like my own challenge. Look what I can do. The developers mm-hmm. are just like, hey, the, you know, they're sitting around and then achievements, they just came up. Oh, well, people do that already, so let's just put it in the game, right? <laughs> like in uh, Broforce, um, they have a bunch of achievements based on movies that they... Yeah, you, you played it, right? Yeah, I have it on Steam. Yeah. Actually, when I talked to you on the phone, and or I was I talking to Andrea or you, I can't remember, but she said you were playing Broforce. And I was like, cool, and the same day I went to go fire it up on Steam. Because mm. on Steam they always add more characters, and so they had... Did you? Yeah. So, so like, uh, I was playing, and, and I forgot, uh, you know, you save the guy, and then it, it switches. Whoever you save, it's going to be random, whoever yeah. you switch to. So it was the Rocketeer. And I was like, oh, that's pretty awesome. I'm like, woo! <laughs> just like flying around. I don't even know what special move was because I flew right into a helicopter and died. <laughs> but yeah, yeah then I unlocked the bride. Like he, he flies up and does like a flying like drop. Kick. Oh, okay. So so he is on the PS4 version. Yeah, like I, I've beaten the game, but I was only 75% done. Oh, okay. This is that they plan on adding more. So I unlocked the last person I unlocked was Brolander. Which is oh, Highlander. Highlander. Yeah, which yeah, yeah. I never figured out what his special move was. Oh. But I unlocked, like, double O, you know. Yeah, James Bond. So, okay, so the list I saw on Steam is the same. It's mm. the same list, then. You guys have all the same ones. Yeah. The same characters, then. 
Yeah, it's it's cool. Like, I, for me, I I never was into achievements like for games. But if it's an achievement that benefits me some way in the game, like if I do this, like I get, like in in Marvel Heroes, they have that. So like you do achievements in Marvel Heroes, you get rewards. Like here's mm. a, here's a treasure chest bonus, mm. and it's random what you get. I like I like that kind of idea too. Like yeah. that you get a reward for it, not just not just the like, not just you did the, it! yeah not, yeah not just the one second and yeah. it's like yeah man and it's on my account forever and I was like I don't care yeah. like it, it doesn't do anything for Final, me. Final Fantasy thirteen did that too, but they did it with wallpaper. Yeah, I, I, I remember. Thought, I thought that was like yeah. the most clever thing about that game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I thought it was really cute that they did that, but, like, too bad it wasn't a better game. But yeah, well. You yeah, remember what that guy said. Oh, my God. This guy in GameStop, mm-hmm. he was, like, lightning, like, returns Final Fantasy thirteen three is the Dark Souls of the Final Fantasy series. And I went, I could, oh, my God, I could not contain it. I was just like, oh, come on. Are you kidding I've me? I've never played it. I've, I've never played Lightning. Now, I played... I know what the mechanics are. Oh, huh? But I've yeah. never played it myself. Yeah. But, like... Like, I played one, and I beat one. I beat... Well, no, I'm sorry. 13, and I beat that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, eh, eh, you know. <laughs> and then I didn't play two, but I heard 13-2 was better. Yeah, like, it, that's what I hear, too. And, and I played the demo, and I was like, wow, the... So I forgot who I, I was telling somebody like years ago. Like the the game was you didn't um, was it just like you ran and like you could run past people like it was kind of like Chrono Trigger where in you had to like thirteen in thirteen two yeah. like you saw oh, the enemy 13. and you had to run into him or you could avoid him right that, yeah it was the same in thirteen I think I okay think, like you could like kind of avoid them yeah but, like the hallways were kind of a little too yeah narrow sometimes but but what was the difference in 13 2 with the combat the, the combat i remember yeah. was different right in two yeah yeah like and then they had like a little monster familiars or something that's like right that. so you so didn't you have had, a full like, party right no you, you, you had said sarah and um, the guy no no yeah no Christ. and then the rest yeah, of no your Christ. the rest of your party was enemies that you collected yeah okay like you get a cactar or something yeah that's actually Which, sounds kind of neat you know those sound kind of cool it's like he would spin around and shoot a thousand needles at people <laughs> or something and make cute little sound effects uh, yeah i'm sure i'm sure he <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he would. Yeah. And then you can equip a bow on him. I don't know. Whoa, that's I don't know. That would be that'd cute. be weird because how would he shoot it? Because he only goes like eh, 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 eh. no, it'd be like a bow tie. Oh, like a bow tie. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you mean like a cosmetic stuff, yeah. not actual bow. No, I don't think yeah. they did that in the game, yeah. but I think that would be really cute huh. if they did. Yeah, that'd be different. <sighs> Need more cute stuff. So then, what what was Lightning Returns? Was that just her by so herself? It was her by herself. So it was kind of kingdom hearts ish but like you would run into an enemy and you'd be teleported to like your own little area yeah and you got um a mixture of kingdom hearts and final fantasy 10 2 so you had like different dresses you could put on and she would get different abilities according to that dress oh and so it was like um it's kind of like that one on PlayStation. Was it Ten Two, where you could switch jobs? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I was saying. Oh, like, okay, yeah. Yeah, like, but it was like it's kind of a better version of it. Oh, okay. Because you can switch between the costumes and yeah. like on the fly, right? Yeah, yeah, and like I actually really liked that battle system a lot when I mm-hmm. played the demo. I was like, holy it's shit! It's not. It's not like. Um... The first one to me was just like, I, I think I literally could put the controller down and have something on the yeah. X key and let it do its thing. Yeah. So this one's a little more engaging. Yeah. So it's it's more of an action RPG. And you actually have to dodge and move yeah, around and stuff. Yeah, dodge and block and okay. like do other skills and stuff. But it's 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 a really great battle system. I just can't stand the story. The story sucks. yeah. The story is god awful. The characters are yeah. god awful. That's what um, I hear about Lightning Returns. It's like I always wanted to play it because I always hear the battle system is good, but yeah. that's the only thing I you, hear. But you, you got to tough it out. Yeah. And and it's kind of screwed up because there's a timer in the game mm-hmm. and you have to do everything within a certain oh, amount of time. Majora's Mask? Yes. <laughs> and it's game over and you have to start oh, all wow. over again. Wow. So, but that's what that guy was kind of saying 
uh, why thirteen three is the Dark Souls of Final Fantasy. Not because you have of, to speed run it. Yeah, well, because you have because it's frustrating. Oh. Because because of that, like mm. I was like, okay, it's not because of like gorgeous aesthetics or like mm. really deep lore or yeah. you know really challenging system. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just because it's a frustrating. Yeah. Game. Now fifteen's coming out, right? Did you guys pre-order fifteen? I did. Yeah, I remember the. Deluxe edition. So when's it coming out? September this, 30th. Okay. And they haven't... Have they showed more about it other than we, the demo that you've gotten to play? Or? Well, they, two demos. They have, yeah, they oh, there's released, two demos. They released two demos. the first demo, which was with Type Zero. I saw that and one. Then they released another demo. So how's the second demo? The second demo, they improved on... Um, someone said the camera is improved, and I guess it is. I didn't really... I think it's less sluggish. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they improved on the battle system. So instead of just holding square the whole time yeah. and him cycling through the different weapons... You actually can cycle the weapons yourself. Okay. So it's much, much better. Yeah. And then um, it showed that there's, like, other equipable weapons, which is cool. So mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of, you know, finding the weapons and stuff. Yeah. Um, usable items that are, like, fireworks or spells or, like, um, there was one that was, like, you threw it in the air and it, like, rained down and, like, attacked the enemies. Oh, stuff. okay. Like, so... Little consumable little, items yeah, that consumable, like yeah like that final items. fantasy always used to have yeah yeah because if you weren't a spellcaster you were just like well and the enemy was resistant to physical and you were just like what do i do yeah You're just like okay i'll use a consumable so i i i felt like while it was kind <clears throat> of a short demo and it didn't really do anything for the story mm -hmm. it um it it's you know it showed some improvements and like That's it good. was nice and like i enjoyed the uh, boss fight at the end of it mm. like it was pretty tough and I was like what do I do and you like you had to use like uh the surrounding like objects in the, the environment yeah. yeah like to help like there was like canisters of gas or something okay that bloom up and it worked out really it's kind of nice. like a raid raid boss kind of yeah. mechanic from like MMOs yeah yeah that's cool so, I, I I think it's gonna be a really great game I think it's gonna be one of the best Final Fantasies. Like, I hope That's I'm good. not going to eat my words later. Uh, yeah, well. Like, it's it. definitely improvement over 13, um, even though you don't have a party. Like, I so mean, you it's do, just but, the guy, right? Yeah. It's just, it's, does he still have his... his uh, well, because you don't control them. I remember watching mm -hmm. the first demo. You just play the main character, and the others kind of do their own thing. Yeah. Kind of like in 12, like you put them on like a blitz... Or what is the gambit, gambit system, system gambit. and they just kind of do was, their own thing? I was okay with the gambit system because yeah. at least you got to control what you wanted them to do. Right. And like if you fucked up during a boss battle, you yeah. like pause it and switch yeah, around really switch fast. Around. It's like you're supposed to heal me when I hit 75% <laughs> health. Why aren't you doing yeah, this? I was like, what well, did I do wrong? Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's just cycling through the menus. I'm not <laughs> sure what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, that's good to hear because... Um, you know, the last time I, I, I haven't read anything or heard anything on 15 other than the last time I saw you guys play the demo, so. Yeah, I they, think they, it's they, be good. I heard that they said that. It's like, if it doesn't sell, it's their last one. No, are you serious? Yeah. Their last, like, That's one. Their last Final Fantasy. Single no, player, it's, though, it's right? it's gonna sell. It's gonna sell. Yeah, it looks like it has no choice. But to sell well, I mean, you're still gonna, you still have your Final Fantasy player base, so I mean, yeah, you know, they they want something different. I, I mean, all they have out there right now is, um, you know, still people still play eleven, yeah, and uh, people are on fourteen, yeah. and that's it. Other than I don't think there's anything else that people are. Oh well, no, because they're doing the uh, seven, right? They're doing it's Final Fantasy seven, seven as an episode episodic yeah. game. Right? Well, now, now they're saying, I saw a blip on the internet, now it's uh, full games, like three full games right. or something. So that's episodic, but it's not like going to be like a Life is Strange or anything like that. Okay. It's going to be like actual full games. Okay. So I was like, oh, so disc one is going to be a full fucking game. I'm okay with that. Yeah. That's cool. That's kind of what they did with, um, I wonder if they're going to do that, like Blizzard did that with StarCraft 2. Is StarCraft 2, you know, StarCraft 1, if you've ever played StarCraft 1, the disc had all the campaigns for each race. It was the mm. Terran, the Zerg, and the Protoss, all in one disc. Full game. Then with StarCraft 2, they decided, well, we're going to give you that on three separate discs. So 
60 bucks for each one. Ooh. Yeah, so it was the Terran. Wings just the, the Terran. Liberty, yeah, Wings and Heart, Heart, Heart of the Swarm. And then Legacy the, the, the Legacy of the Void was the Protoss. Ouch. So I wonder if they're going to do something like that. Like, here, it's a full game, but yeah, it's a full game. <laughs> $60 <laughs> each disc. <laughs> it's a full game, True. but you can play as one character. You can play as Cloud. You can play as Barry. You can play Ugh, no. They, they showed that you can switch. <laughs> They're DLC. <laughs> I'm just trying to... <laughs> that would suck if they became DLC, right? Oh, man. Vincent DLC. Uh, DLC. Oh, Vincent DLC, for sure. Oh, that's first buy. That's garbage. Day one buy. Day one buy. <laughs> it's it's going to be a GameStop exclusive downloadable content. Oh, that would be horrible. With Fedora and Stripe, <laughs> stripe Suit. <laughs> we, we also uh, pre ordered um, the Odin Spear. Yeah, we talked mm. about, we talked yeah. about that, and which then, is uh, um, Grand, and, and Grand Kingdom and Star Ocean. Yeah. Now Star Ocean's for PS4. Yes, but I heard I heard <clears throat> after I pre-ordered it, I heard it's only twenty hours. Uh, Fuck you guys. That sucks. It's no Star Ocean is who who develops uh, that? Trice. Tri oh, Trice. I love Trice because yeah. they did a Valkyrie profile. Jacob's the one that actually got me into Valkyrie profile. Nice. I was like a huge Valkyrie uh, profile junkie for a while. <laughs> I was like, Jacob, Jacob. He's like, I already know. I know. Stop it. I know it. <laughs> Did you know about this? Yes. Yes. I, you know how many times I've played that game? Shut up. <laughs> Just play it. You'll like it. I only played a little bit of it. I actually should like break out my PSP and play yeah, the rest of it because it's really yeah, cool. Right it. Yeah. Um, I was, because I was, gonna, I was actually, I was going to ask you because... The last time I played it was when I had a PSP. Now I have a Vita. I was like, is there a way we can still play Valkyrie Profile? Because I actually, I still have the original PlayStation disc. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. And, I uh, and, um, but then I play, I like, I, did, did you beat Valkyrie Profile 2? Because I played it for a little bit and then again I just stopped. And I, I have it, but I don't. Yeah, I, don't. I never played Wait, through it. Do you have it? Because I have it too. So do we have two copies? I think so. Oh. Yeah, so but I really liked the first one. The first one was great. Mm. So, but yeah, so Trice did Star Ocean. Yeah. So does it play? How does how does it play, it, or how do you think it's gonna play gameplay wise? I think I think they're I've never to the same it. kind of system where it's, um, you know, like four or five characters on the screen, and it's like a side battle view. Mm -hmm. Well, but now it's like three D. Yeah, but, yeah. Um. I think it's going to play a lot like 4, where, like, I mean, it's going to play like a Star Ocean game, you know. I, I don't even know how to describe the mechanics of it. It's just, it's it's like a Tales game, sort of, where you run up and you just whack the guy in yeah. your own little space, and, like, um, very they, heavy on combinations. Yeah, because um, I remember that with Tales, like, the little thing would pop up, and if you hit, you had to hit buttons... Like, buttons would pop up, this is a strong slash or heavy yeah, slash or yeah, whatever, yeah. so it's kind of like yeah. that, whatever they And then you get, like, your special moves and stuff. Yeah. And you keep hitting them with the special moves. And then one of the weird things was, like, if you run out of MP, you die. Oh. Yeah, it's really wow. weird. Wow, okay. Yeah. I'm I pretty sure I remember that from the fourth one. Mm -hmm. But, like, uh, the fourth one was so bad. Oh. Like, that I was, mean, it was good gameplay, It was but on PS3? Yeah. Yeah. It was... It was See, I've never played a Star Ocean game, so yeah, it's it's a cute series. I like it. Um, yeah, space sci-fi, sci-fi. Yeah. yeah, you know, going to like uh, mm. planets that are less developed and getting new characters. And it used to be a lot about um, getting different characters. Like you could only get like a certain amount of characters, but there were other characters that you could get too. Right. But you would sacrifice one for the other. Or oh. Something. Huh. But. Um, starting from, yeah, four, like, uh, they stopped doing that. Mm -hmm. you, you, everybody, you just get everybody. So, oh, okay. and then the fifth one, it looks like it's the same thing. You just get everybody instead of yeah. like, I really like that. I yeah. really like the big cast and then yeah. out so who you want. did that. Yeah. So, that's cool. I'll never get another Sukoden. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having this Sukoden game come out. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be, that would be insane. Fuck it up. So, now, now like... That goes back because I beat one and two. Two was really hard to find. I couldn't find two for a while, and then we, we got found the strategy guide. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And then we we got one in at GameStop. That was kind of cool because sometimes you'd get like random people trading in all this stuff, and the, but it was just yeah. the discs. Oh, so I I took it anyway. It, it was, was just the discs. Yeah. That could have been mine. Oh, really? Yeah, because I um, looked at my cases one day. 
and my games were gone. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so you code in one and two, huh. and I was pissed. Yeah. I was super pissed because I loved that series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But and then uh, Jacob played three because da David no, and I. No, no did Isaac, you play three? Isaac, Isaac played three. I the only ones I played was one and two. But okay. So then, because uh, David and I went halves on three, and that was on, I think it was on PlayStation 2, right? Sukoden 3 was PlayStation 2? Yeah, I think two. so, yeah. yeah. So we went halves on it, so he played it, and so I didn't have, I he played it from like months, mm. so I totally forgot we had it, and then he was just like, yeah, I'm done. I was like, what? <laughs> we have Sukoden 3? And then I played it for a little bit, and I was like, this is totally different from 1 and 2. It was just oh, too weird. It? it was too weird for me and like but he said it was really good. Him and Isaac used to talk about it all the time. Then I play I got 4 and 4 was back to how the first two were, like mm. the way like the the game system played and and everything and so I liked 4 but I never beat 4. And then that was it. Was that the one with the with boat the ship. with the ship? No, oh, wait, I'm sorry, five. Five. I got five. Okay, so David got four, and yeah, that was the one with the kid, the weird, the style changed, like yeah. the art style changed, and yeah, he was on the boat. Dave was on that boat for hours. He literally, I forgot what level he was by the oh, time, no. he didn't know where to go. He's like, what am I supposed to do? And he fought, and he fought, I don't know what level he was, but he he out-leveled when he finally got to the mainland where we were supposed to go. He was just kicking the shit out of everything because mm. he was out on that boat, like, leveling for hours he's like dude i don't he's like i don't like this game uh he's like it's not like he like i mean it's weird because he loved three and it was the same 3d kind of style yeah and uh he's just like this is horrible and then we both got five and we liked i loved five mm -hmm. and i don't know I, again it was like another game came out and it's just, that always seems to happen like another game came out and then i just forgot about it but yeah. i played it for a while i played five for a while so i always liked the the battle system but then they had that other big kind of army battle like i think they had two different kinds the first one had like a card battle kind of thing like it was like a rock paper scissor like these mm -hmm. guys are great against these guys mm -hmm. in this little skirmish and then you had to set them up all it's kind of turned into like a shining force mm -hmm. like you were all like across on this field and then, like, these guys were, cal like, cavalry units or something. They had different stuff like that. But, yeah, the, it's kind of cool because they had, like, little game systems that were different. And, again, I liked how you could find characters yeah. and try and figure out how to recruit them. Or you had to do it in certain at a certain time as you're playing the game. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of cool characters. There were guys that were just stupid OP. <laughs> I do miss that, but Kana I think Konami just dropped the ball with all their IPs. I mean, yeah. that's why everyone's gone, right? That's why, uh, you know, the Metal Gear guy, Kojima, Kojima's out. You yeah. know, he's doing his own thing because it's like, well, uh, you can keep Metal Gear, and I don't give a shit yeah. because you're not they they're not doing anything with all these IPs. Like, you know, Castlevania's just sitting there doing nothing. Sukoden's just sitting there doing nothing. There's probably a bunch more. Mm -hmm. I remember Konami was big in the mm -hmm. PlayStation and PlayStation 2. Like, they were coming out with all kinds of stuff. Now it's just like, hey, we've got, they're like turning into Zega. We've got all these great IPs and there's kind of stuff and things. I don't yeah. want to do stuff. So I, I think Konami is like one of the ones that makes me really sad. Like, yeah. That it, it, it died pretty much. Like, and they just do pachinko machines. Like, yeah. It just... I used to really like that company a lot. Oh, yeah. And, um... I love me some Castlevania. Yeah. Even, like, their older games. Like, on the Super Nintendo and stuff. Like, I don't know. Man, if that, if that one we played back in the day, if Harmony... Was it Harmony of Despair? The online oh, Castlevania yeah. one? Oh, if that no, came no. if that came out on Steam again, I'd probably rebuy <laughs> it. It was fun. I really yeah. liked that one. If that did come out on Steam, I'd probably buy it too because, mm -hmm. like, uh, I was just looking at it the other day. And I was like, should I? <laughs> Wait, but, is it on Steam right now? No, no it's, it's, on his on your PS4. Probably. Yeah, because I I was I was sort of like you you were doing something, and I was like, oh, maybe I could sneak in a round of the game. I was like, ah, oh, there's probably fucking nobody. Yeah. You know, I'd probably just be playing by myself. Or Japanese speedrunners. I was just. 
Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what happened when when we would play. It was like usually we get somebody and they would come in and like do all kinds of crazy stuff yeah. in the boss. I was like, dude, how do you get to the boss room? Boss room's up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boss is already yeah, dead. Like, I was like, dude, I haven't even got up the corridors yet. Oh, wow, that's cool. No, I, I love that one because it was, was it just took the whole cast, like everybody you liked. Like I, I loved Shanoa from um, mm-hmm. 3DS. And I thought her character was badass. I and know she added Albus. Albus. Oh, the the other guy yeah. in that same series. Yeah. He was the crazy oh, guy yeah. with the gun. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. They could have done so much with Castlevania, but they just now that Ega is doing that uh, blood stained yeah. mm-hmm. Kickstarter. I haven't even looked into it at all. I it's been a long time. I haven't seen any updates from it hmm. either. Hope it's going good. Like I look Hope forward so. to it. Yeah, that's the thing about Kickstarter games. It's like you put money on it, and then like you're it just like, yeah, it oh. be- either becomes vaporware, or you totally forget about it because it's like, yeah, we're launching in 2019. Well, yeah, yeah. I, f- I forgot. <laughs> like I just, I just got a, a game. Like I had done the Kickstarter for it, and I spent like seventy five dollars on mm-hmm. it. I was like, oh, this is gonna be so cool and stuff. And it just came out, and I was like, all right, I can't wait to download it on Steam. And they said that unfortunately, due to some kind of copyrights or some some policies that they have on Steam, mm-hmm. they're not putting it on Steam. Huh. And I was like, oh, fuck you guys. I really wanted this on Steam. I like my games all in a row on oh. Steam. Huh. I just love Steam. And I don't know. Okay. I mean, it still came out. Yeah. But it's like, it's just a little, you know, EXE kind of thing. Yeah, and, yeah. Everybody, yeah. Uh, a little bit. What was it? Um, Asagao like academy it's it's, it's is a that what it's dating sim. It's a visual novel that like, it's super. It's it's stupid, but it's brilliant at the same time because it um, takes a bunch of uh, uh, YouTube guys mm-hmm. that you can date. <laughs> oh, like they're ex- all from like e celebs. Yeah, like Jontron. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like Jontron's one of them. They're like I can't remember what they call themselves. Normal Boots. They call themselves Normal Boots, and so it's all these guys <laughs> from this Normal Boots club, mm-hmm. and then they make the club like a club in high school, mm-hmm. and then you get to date all of them. Oh, okay. And, like, and there's little hidden story paths and stuff like that. And huh. the art works cute. And the actual guys um, gave them voice clips. So you get, like, them talking to you a little okay. bit. Okay, so, like, like oh, the people cute. that from YouTube actually contributed and did some voice work. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Free game. Free game? It's a free game. Oh, just, it is? Yeah. Oh, but you, oh, so what, but did, I, I what did you get? I don't, oh, I got like keychains and a postcard and some Okay, other stuff. oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you got some goodies. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Like, I'm not going to pay $75 just for a postcard. Yeah, I, I was going to Thank you for supporting <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. So your name's in the credits or what? Um, I don't know. I don't oh. think so. Sometimes they have that. Yeah, I really want to do that sometime. Put your name in I the saw credits. Luis's in Amplitude. Oh, yeah? And I was like, I am jealous. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You ordered um, also uh, Guilty Gear Revelator. Uh, Guilty Gear oh, okay. There's a pre-order for uh, it already. Yeah. Oh. It comes out in August. Are we gonna beat each other up? Yeah. Okay. Don't you have you don't now you don't have Exerd right? No. Okay. Because like to buy the other characters are like eight dollar they're nine dollars each. Oh really? And um and Revelator. on PlayStation? Yeah, PS4. Oh okay. And on and on Re- Revelator it has the, it has all the previous dlc yeah plus it comes with five new characters oh okay that's johnny it has yeah. jam jam um, um, jam was good <laughs> johnny was great too there he's fucking beast. dizzy uh dizzy yeah which is surprising mm-hmm. um testament no not testament no. they also have a guy that's sort of like cliff underson yeah he's like but he's a huge like old man uh-huh but so piloted, he's new. Yeah, new. Yeah. He's piloted by a little girl inside. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> and then um, one other character. Uh, like another new character. Jack o Lantern. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I've seen her. She's awesome. Yeah, I was like, that's when I was looking at stuff. Because I was asking my friend, like, should I get XR on Steam? And he's like, well, I don't know. I mean, they're going to come out with Revelator at some point. So you it's may just want to wait. August, August 30th or something. Yeah, on uh, PC... 
PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah. Is it like forty bucks or fifty? Oh, they haven't announced. I think it's sixty. I'm not sure. Mm. Now, I saw uh, Melty Blood finally got on Steam. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, actress again. I was, like, I was like, I was tempted, but I was like, eh. And then they're gonna bring uh, Undernight, which I have on PS3, but it's coming to Steam, so I may rebuy it again because Undernight was actually really fun. I spent like a couple weeks on it, and I was just like. I mean, I like Melty Blood. Like, we grew up playing, like, you know, Melty Blood, like, off boot, the bootleg copies, and we used to have, like, all kinds of crazy battles. And Never But Undernight is the sa- it's the same thing, just a different mm-hmm. cast of characters and a different story. And I'm same like, creators? Or? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, same developers. So they all play the same, you know, similar, very, very similar. Yeah. similar. yeah, the design, the art design is, like, it's, like, spot on. And the, the soundtrack, like, if you listen to Undernight soundtrack, you're like, wow, this sounds exact. It's like an extended version of what Melty Blood was, mm. the similar soundtrack. So, um, no, that's cool. Yeah, you'll have fun with Guilty Gear. I hear uh, Exert was good. Played really good. So I'd be interested to check it out when you get Relevator. Just because mm-hmm. Jack-O-Lantern was, she looks fun. She, she looks has pretty a cool. Ridiculous fun pose. Yeah, it's silly, so, but it's cool. Did you hear that they announced it? What? Borderlands Three. They did. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. They confirmed. They confirmed that it's their, That's what. That's what you'll be working on next. Yeah. No, I. I really. I, I enjoyed Borderlands. Like, did we play Borderlands one together for a bit? Sort yeah, of. You, you yeah. You says left me behind and. Yeah. I, I just remember driving the car. I was like, where do I go? Where do I go? <laughs> Yeah, it's see that's the thing that kind of sucks is like it's it's easy to like leave people in the dust in Borderlands. Mm. Like it's cool, it's great when you're all the same level and it's co-op and you're doing stuff together, but then it's kind of like I still want to play and you know Jacob couldn't play and then we're just like yeah and you're just kind of overpowered and mm. you they're, know they're selling the handsome collection for like twenty dollars. Oh really? They have a flash on PS4. Right yeah, on PS3 also mm. they have a flash sale going on. Right Did now. you ever play Borderlands too? Oh, but it, it comes with the pre sequel or whatever. Yeah, but that's yeah, that's I heard it's not that great. Yeah. Borderlands yeah. Two was awesome. Yeah, that I was really. Played, cool. I haven't played. I don't play the first. One. Yeah, the first one was fun for what it was. I think a lot of people weren't expecting it to be really that great, and it was it was entertaining for a first person shooter with loot. It's essentially, it's a first person shooter with Diablo loot. Oh. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, and you love like, your King, 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 like, give me Kingdom Under Fire. That was yeah, Kingdom that was Kingdom fun. Under Fire was awesome. Actually, they're come, they're doing, they're working on one, and they've been working on one for a while. Yeah, it's almost a decade. Yeah, yeah. and know? and they so, use that there's a PS4 beta coming out. Oh, was, there is. Like, Kingdom Under Fire was good too. Jacob got me into that one also. Mm. It's just that I like, got all these loots dropping, and then like we're just running around just trying to yeah. Pick it all up. Well, that was Circle of Doom. So like. Yeah. So Kingdom Under Fire was um, on Xbox, the old Xbox. I still have both of them. And it was, uh, there was two of them. And, the, and what it was was you picked a character and it was like you had your army. So you had like it, it zoomed out and it was like an RTS. Like you could move like mm-hmm. your archers and your cavalry and your knights and your mages. I think I've, I've, I think I've seen it. Before, like, and, did you play it in yeah. front of me before? Yeah. yeah. And then when you get into it, like when the character that you picked, the hero or villain or whoever, mm. it zoom. Then you can go back and zoom into them, and it's like Dynasty Warriors, and you just you're in it, like in fighting the army, and so you just That's you know cool. do like all your combos and your abilities and stuff. And then the second one was the same with more characters. I the think the second one was the same, but you played all the lieutenants. Okay. Or like the second in command. But then there was Circle of Doom, and then it was like, what? Because it wasn't anything like Kingdom Under Fire. It was, you had four class. I think it was four classes, or four or five classes. Well, I thought it was the characters. Oh, was it characters? Well, they yeah. they were characters, but they were they did their own kind of thing. They yeah. had their own abilities and stuff, and it was um, it was instance based, so it was co op. You party together, but you ran the same missions over and over for loot, and you just geared up. That was there was a story, but I don't think it was really that great.
it's it's TF two though. I mean, that's all yeah, it is in its purest form. You know? Yeah, because it's more it's just more more classes. Yeah, because you know? it's like the characters are more refined and they have abilities now. So it's but it's, it's separate teams, right? There are teams to this, right? Well, yeah. There's the, there's the bi is the bad. Guys. Oh, like well, there is. Yeah, it's. I don't really even know how that story is kind of fleshed out. There is like a Overwatch group, but I don't know. You know, I don't think all of the characters that you play are in Overwatch, mm-hmm. like the little the group that they had. Because if you watch the Winston clip, you know he's you kind of find out how you know, baby gorilla became big gorilla and, you know, with his scientist buddy and the banana and the glasses and all that and the peanut butter. And then he's all, uh, you know, part of this program, this artificial intelligence or whatever that he's talks to and he's a scientist. And then there's some overwatch protocol and all these certain characters were a part of this protocol, certain heroes, but not all of them. So yeah, it's kind of weird in that sense. You get to play them all, but yeah, they're not, Story-wise, they're not all part of Overwatch because some of them are villains too. We saw like um, fifteen minutes of Mirror's Edge. Oh yeah, it looked pretty good. Is that Catalyst? Yeah. yeah. It looked, How is it? It looked like the original, like. But I'm still worried because they said it was going to be open world, and they didn't show anything like open world. Like it, it ran just like how. Uh, the original one went. Yeah. And they give a reason as to why there's like red like colored stuff like there's like a yeah sort of like a what what is it like a runner vision runner vision oh like they okay put, they insert something into her <laughs> oh okay and like give her runner vision like and contact lenses or something, something. she, she swallowed she's on something. drugs swallowed yeah. something oh, okay. some drugs and now she can see like runner vision and it shows like shadows and stuff. oh I thought okay. that was pretty good uh you know excuse why you see those mechanics mm-hmm. like that but I was worried that um, through this whole thing, I was like, okay, when's the tutorial going to stop? When's the mm. tutorial going to stop? Mm-hmm. Doesn't stop. Like, you see, mm. like, footprints to guide you. You see the red. And the red's always been there, but like, yeah. it sort of fades out more, mm-hmm. like, at the end of the game. Yeah. Uh, in the first one. But, like, it's always stark red uh footprints and like shadows that you see okay that you follow so it's like you can't you can't really think for yourself yeah like you're supposed to be able to find other pathways and i can see a couple of them in this like video but like i think that was the whole point of their open world it's like well instead of giving me the cues like here you go and then you just figure it out so i'm i'm confused i'm very confused as to if that will stop or lighten up a bit so I can play the game for mm-hmm. myself and not have the game think for me? Yeah. Or is this what they meant by the game is too hard for women to play? Oh. Because remember when they were saying that? They did say that? They said something like it's too, the game hmm. is too hard for women or the general audience oh. to play and <clears> like they had to make it easier yeah. and like, oh, or read this dumb. Well, it's EA, so I wasn't going to buy it anyway. So. Ah. There's also Sarkis in the I know. The, the, oh, uh, she's involved in it? Yeah, she is. Oh, uh, what did she do? I she don't was know. a consultant. Oh. She's the one that said it was too easy. I mean too hard for women in the casual. Well, game. I I remember reading <laughs> That's funny video. coming from from what I, uh, the, the rumor mill was that she never played any games. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, so, we don't I don't know for sure, but it's just funny. I remember reading a review about the original Mirror's Edge and they were saying it uh, it was like in Game Informer or something, one mm-hmm. some magazine, and they said that um, that it was like too too difficult. That and the, they knocked it down a couple points because really? it was too difficult. I was like, "What? Are you kidding me? I'm uh, play. I beat this game, and I'm yeah. not that. I'm not into like hard games, like yeah. Dark Souls. Like this, it's not that." fucking yeah. hard yeah well that and that's like i think i was talking with somebody about the industry and it's you know it's completely changed nobody just drops you in in the world anymore yeah. and lets you kind of fiddle around that it's like well here's what you do you know everything is a tutorial and everything is kind of holding your hand and teaching you like what button does what and mm-hmm. it's just like yeah i i grew up in the era where that wasn't around and i had to you know i was playing nintendo games and the instruction book if you read instruction books for nintendo games like they told you like what the buttons did, but they didn't tell you anything else. Like if you look at a, a Legend of Zelda Nintendo booklet, 
it was all lore. It told mm. you about like the story of the game, who Link was, who Zelda was. I miss instruction booklets. And, and all that stuff. And but it never told you like any I don't it might have had some hints, but it told it, you general like, general it would show you the like the controller and what it yeah. does, but and that was it. So it was just like, you know, when you fired up the game, that was it. It was like, nope, there you go. It's like, figure it out. Was. And that, I and that was cool. When I was young and I was able to figure it out yeah. and beat it and stuff. So. I enjoyed stuff like that. There's nothing really, there's not a lot like it anymore because, you know, now those companies want as many people to play as possible. So it's like, well, we have to it's have. It's all this. about the money. We have to have this stuff in there, you know. Obviously, you probably won't see that in like a Kickstarter game. Mm-mm. Um, you know, cause, or like some, some other games that I see that are kind of more, uh, nostalgia based games like, uh, Hotline Miami wasn't like that when you played it, right? I mean, it kind of gave you a general idea gave, of you know, how it, to play, yeah, but it, yeah, it just said, you know, just how you do it <clears throat> and that's it. Yeah. And then just kind of let you go. And yeah. you just kind of figured out. I was like, "Wow, I didn't know I could throw a gun, and it could bounce off that guy, and bounce off that guy, and kill kill a guy, and then I could pick it up and still use it and shoot it and whatever." Yeah, because you start thinking out other stuff, like you know, okay, I can <coughs> throw this gun, knock those two guys out, kill them, and then as the guy comes through, it's push the door, push knock, the door, knock, knock him knock out. Down the guy out.